we are doing an updated house tour because I was waiting to show you when it's really, really done, done, done. But it just takes taking a little longer than planned. Um, hey, Salid, don't show that. We're starting with our living room. The vibes that we're going for here are, like I mentioned, wanted to mix mix in the old with the new world thingy together, the old world, the new world. So we have a bit of traditional, uh, some modern aspects. Do we have any modern aspects here? I don't think so. I don't actually know the language of interior design, so I might just throw all these different terms out there and whatever sticks, just... We finally got our coffee table. I really wanted to get like a long wooden coffee table. There's gonna be all these chachkas here, you know how it goes, with some uh, coffee books and some cute little stuff. So that's gonna add a lot. Um, all the things that we have right now, all the books and stuff, not gonna be here at all. We're gonna have pillows that I finally approved and are going to be hopefully here in a couple of days. We got our table over there. I'm also like envisioning like a big see-through vase with like branches. We finally have a little bit more storage. We're gonna have some pieces of art here and then all of this is going away. This is like my attempt at, at old world art. Uh, this is from Target and it's $25 and it's not gonna stay here. But I just wanted to see like if I, if I like that kind of stuff, if the bronze framing gonna work. Anyways, it's not working, the more I bet it. We have our chandelier. I don't think last time you guys saw, I mean, you saw the molding, but we got this chandelier, kind of like a spooning situation going on. And then we have finally the fireplace. <sighs> Listen to me. If I knew the journey that I had to go through with this fireplace, I would have kept the original one, to be quite honest with you. As you can see, we're literally still going through it. There's the boxes with all the curtains, so curtains are gonna be um, everywhere, actually in the living room here and here and along that wall. And I feel like that's gonna bring so much more like coziness to it, so I'm excited. We received our dining room, and we have all the stuff on it. We got this amazing table that cannot be moved, so once we put it in, this is it. We got the chandelier, and then these gorgeous chairs from CB2, which I'm obsessed with. Per recommendation, we bought an olive tree, um, and we brought it here and it died within three minutes. And then we realized that it cannot live, live plants cannot live in this house. I made myself a project to like get rocks to cover the thing and I got the rocks, but they're not covering the thing. <sighs> I have a lot change actually. We just got this table that looks kind of like our older table. <laughs> but uh, it's a bit longer and we are changing the chairs as well. Uh, we finally got the little pillow seat for the breakfast nook and we're gonna get a bunch of pillows, decorative pillows over here. So it's gonna come together. We got the lighting, which I feel like added a lot to the space. Fake flowers by Coco Bella are, they have some great pieces and I'm just so happy. They come also with two vases. So I'm just so, so happy that I'm able to have something nice, you know? Still have to clear out all the tchotchkes. There's going to be more of like a decorative aspect to here. I'm gonna clear out all of that. I feel like this room probably gone through the most amount of change. This is the TV room. We went for a wallpaper with texture just to bring in a little something and then went with this amazing sectional from CB2 and we actually made a custom ottoman uh, to connect it, uh, just to break it up with the same color but a different finish. And I'm planning to have like a little board here, not a board, how do you call it? Where you can a tray? It? A tray, yeah. Like a big nice tray. There's gonna be also pillows. Uh, we have these gallery lights. We're gonna put portraits of the family all over the room. And then honestly the main event is going to be the TV, 
and I'm planning for a lot of movie nights here. Very excited for this room. And we got the lighting as well. We have the powder room. It's kind of like powdery blue. Got this mirror on Etsy and this on, I think, Lulu and Georgia, which I love. And I feel like in terms of in terms of this room, it's basically done, which is very nice. Oh, can you see the you see the color? You don't. Never mind. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Jake's room is also not done at all, actually. It's kind of like the room where we bring all the stuff that we don't know where to place. We actually painted the room, you can see here because it's the difference of the color. We painted the room to make it warmer and then we're actually gonna do the ceiling in blue, which is gonna be nice. He also got his light, got his bed, actually uh, changing the curtains, I hate these. I am waiting to get a desk for him, which I don't know what I'm waiting for. I need to get a desk for him. I need to get this chair out of this room. Uh, and this wall, I have a vision to, I'm gonna take this out, and I have a vision to actually sit with him and get him to choose a bunch of different posters and order and just do like a big gallery wall. Like there's just still so much to do, oh my God. <laughs> Benny's room is also almost done. I really love his carpet. Uh, he specifically requested not to paint his room. He wants the walls to be white. Uh, we have these brownish curtains that we're gonna hang. I repurposed his IKEA shelving from Toronto and just tagged them together. So this totally works out for me. Um, gonna have his computer and whatever he needs here. And then I'm thinking adding a couple of shelves and some more um, artwork for him. And um, he has his mirror. He really wanted a mirror. So that's nice. You guys truly seeing it is like a lived in home. This is not like the final reveal will be a stage home. But we all know that those don't really last long, right? We have these cute little mixed styles frames that I got. I'm obsessed with the fact that I didn't have to um, hang it on the wall with like a nail and hammer. These just kind of stick to the wall, so that's good. Max's room, super cute. This is uh, curtains that were here before we moved in and I decided to keep them. I have to shorten them a bit, but I kind of like the stripes bring something into the space. And then I need to create a gallery wall for him as well. He specifically requested number blocks, so I'm on the hunt. We have his bed. And um, this is actually from Toronto. I don't know if I should keep it or leave it, but we'll see. But yeah, everything is like the coloring is blue and neutral and calm, which is something I really wanted for him. We were talking about putting some kind of a wallpaper on the ceiling, which is I've never done anything like that, but I thought um, I'm still kind of like figuring it out. Um, I saw a map of the world that we can put it and I think that would be cool, but might have wallpaper on the ceiling. But I'm still thinking about it, I don't know. And this is, I would say, the second room that changed the most. So Gary, in the beginning when we were talking about this room, he's like, we have to keep our furniture that we got at Restoration Hardware in Toronto six months before we left. Um, and I really tried to make it work and it just did it in the space. So we painted the room, we made it a bit warmer, um, sold the bed and got this bed, which I love. Actually, when I came in first time to see the house and I saw the ceiling, I was like, this just needs to feel more like rustic and natural. And this is what I was envisioning. We did keep our nightstands because I feel like those work. And um, we actually re reupholstered the chairs that we had, which they will be right here with a little green marble table that was at the front. Um, and we're gonna have a big piece of art here. We're gonna have all the curtains, which again will bring in something, something. I'm going to get like a raw wood council. Console? I saw this mirror and I was like, this is really cute. So we got that one. And I want here also like a fake, but like in that rustic big pot. And then like a fake tree. I feel like that would be 
so nice. Okay, let's go outside, although it's definitely not done at all. Um, we're still figuring it out how all of this is gonna work or look. Look at this proud homeowner. I love how everything is grown here and this is going to go all over the house. Uh, uh, where I am stuck, to be honest, and actually would love your opinion. So we are removing these, the set, uh, because again, it doesn't really go. It was working back in Toronto for more modern style, but I can't figure it out. And I'm looking forward to put like a big comfortable, like two comfortable chairs here and maybe like a table. Um, and I need to put like, I want to put big plants on the sides. I just need to like make it more aesthetic and I don't know. I don't know. And then I'm going to get these uh, loungers here. These sculpted chairs are Gary's pride and joy. So we'll figure out what we're going to do with that. I think I want to paint this. To a different color the concrete and then we're gonna have like a sofa and two chairs here so this can be a chill area we're building a little like wellness hut for us so uh, this is our beloved cold plunge and then in that big area where the stones are we're gonna have a sauna for like five people so it's going to be like a nice little resortish vibes over there and uh, we got a trampoline for Maxi. It's really... I'm really hoping this will be done soon because I feel like the process has been so slow um, because we're so busy with all these other things that are moving in our lives and it's really hard to focus on a house. Very hard, but we're doing great. It's gonna be great. This was very random, again, very unpolished and very real time um, house tour. <laughs> I apologize if you were looking for a more aesthetic one, but let me know if you love the house content, what you want to see more of, less of. Um, I want to hear from you. Thanks, bye. Okay, so we come back. <laughs>